Hi there. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the results of my Audi car PC project. The idea behind the project was to put Windows Media Center in the car and connect it to the RNSE satellite nav sat nav system using the TV input option. I wanted to maintain, maintain the same control feel, um, so the idea was to have buttons on the uh, in, on the sat nav control Media Center. I'm going to show you the board that I've got here. It's an Intel Mini ITX board with an Atom CPU. It's a low power board so it keeps current drain at a minimum. Uh, the board uses about 3 amps I think, which is not too, too large. The video uh, resolution it's running is 960 by 540 interlaced. Um, this is necessary to uh, be compatible with the input of the um, RNSE. And also I had to make a custom circuit board here um, which combines uh, horizontal and vertical sync signals into a composite sync uh, because again um, the RNSE accepts a uh, unusual format for the video signal. Uh, the button presses themselves are made possible with the use of these CAN, CAN bus adapters here. They connect to the CAN bus uh, at the back of the SatNav system and using those, uh, the button presses on the sat-nav can be read, uh, can be interpreted by the PC and keystrokes are, are sent to Media Center to control it. So without any more technical detail, I'd like to show you the features, show you how it looks. Um, the video itself actually looks quite good. It's filling the uh, size of the, 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 the whole screen of the RNSE. Um, the RNSE is a 400 by 240 uh, resolution um, so the fonts are coming out okay not fantastic but um, definitely readable on on these larger fonts here uh, some of the fonts there are a little bit difficult to read but but not impossible um, as you can see maybe uh, there's a little bit of flicker but not too much to worry about overall the video looks pretty good actually um, there is also a, a later model RNSE which has a higher resolution screen too, so um, it would definitely look better if you if you had that later model. However, for the moment, this is what I've got and uh, that's what I'm working with. Now, the main reason I wanted to do this project was to have a music library in the car. Um, I'm going to press that button there and it should just go in there. Um, the SD cards were a little bit limited. Um, I find them to be a little bit limited, so you can't, uh, you know, just putting all of these MP3s on the SD cards doesn't really seem to, to work very, very, very practically for me. Um, however, Media Center obviously makes a very good player because you can sort by albums, artists, uh, you can sort by genres. Um, these are features that you don't normally have, so, uh, not to mention the fact that you can have a very large library in the car. Um, now the buttons themselves, when in the TV mode, the buttons we have available are the lower left, upper left, uh, wheel left, wheel right, pressing the button, track back and track forward, return and setup. Other buttons, like the ones on the side, activate features uh, that you would already uh, be used to. So, uh, for instance, if I go, I go to radio, and this button here brings up the um, sound options. When I press CD TV again, if I go to TV, um, pressing this button you see goes back to that same menu. Uh, so the buttons, we're limited to a certain number of buttons. Um, I've got the this button here, this button here, and left and right on the wheel um, to to be up, up, down, left and right on the keyboard. Um, so when I press these buttons here, the CAN bus adapters pick up the message that's being sent and the, the corresponding keystroke is, is sent to Media Center. Um, but using up, down, left and right on, on these buttons here, we've got the ability to navigate Media Center. I've made return escape, so that backs out, and then the wheel button is enter and uh, makes the selection. So if I just go uh, by genre, I can just um, demonstrate the music playing here. I'll just choose pop, just uh, argument's sake. Uh, and if we choose play all, 
Media Center will just play all the songs by that genre. Now, one of the lovely things about the project is that I can press track forward here. And the volume controls work also. Another nice benefit of um, Media Center is that it's actually quite easy to queue up uh, a bunch of different songs. So if I back out and go into, um, if I just went, for, say for argument's sake, um, into the album view. Uh, I can come down into that and then just choose uh, a particular album and then the first option that comes up is add to now playing you might not be able to see that but it's a little bit unclear this the fonts in this in this screen but once you get used to it, it's okay and if I just press enter on that it adds it to the list of currently playing so we can skip through all the songs in the list so it's actually quite convenient to queue up music um, that you want to listen to uh, one of the disadvantages I have with this SD cards is that it's not easy to categorize the music when you put it on the SD cards and um, it, you end up um, well I, I just couldn't really find out a way to make it work for me so um, now that's not the only thing Media Center can do obviously uh, we still um, Media Center can do more than just music so I'll demonstrate the videos that I've put on here I just grabbed a few music videos from YouTube um, and just demonstrate one of them so these are uh, 480p downloads, um, so a horizontal resolution of 480, which is pretty close to the um, resolution that Windows is running in, which is 540 horizontal, uh, sorry, vertical. Um, so these actually end up looking quite nice. Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. And as you can see, the video actually comes up looking pretty good. Um, I had to find the right size uh, videos because the, the Intel Atom CPU is not exactly the most powerful one out there. So these are just on the, on the cusp of what it can handle, but they still come up alright. Um, but as I, uh, you know, videos are the secondary, uh, just a, a nice benefit of this. Um, the ability to play music was what I wanted to do, and um, you know I think the whole the whole uh, project has come up with some really good results. So this is my first um, post about this, and I'm looking forward to bringing more information to you about it in the new in the near future. And thanks for watching.